Good morning, good afternoon, good day VC. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a quick new video. Um, hope you're doing well. I am very cold. It is a uh, rainy Tuesday here. Um, and I just watched a very cool, inspiring video um, by VC member Sakuzan over in the UK. Um, I'll put a link to the video below, but he made a really cool video um, called 10 European Jazz Gems that you should have in your collection. Uh, and I thought that was cool, that was great. There was a lot of things I didn't know in there, um, a lot of things that I have now saved to my listening list. And I thought, you know what? I could make a response video to this. Um, and what I really liked about his video is he didn't show anything on kind of a major label or anything that you would immediately think of. You know, I think when people say European jazz, they almost immediately think of like ECM. I didn't show any ECM or any musicians associated with European ECM type stuff. Um, yeah, it was all kind of things you wouldn't normally think of um, or associate with the big names of European jazz. Um, so I thought I would try and do the same. So I've got um, 10 European jazz records. Um, there's a couple of, I wouldn't say they're famous, but maybe they're more known, especially in the VC. Um, and I've tried to sort of do, do what um, Sakuzan did and pick different countries within Europe to show a variety of stuff. Um, I have got quite a few things from Scandinavia, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so please check out his channel. Um, he does some really interesting stuff, shows lots of um, different kind of jazz records. Um, yeah. Oh, well, not, not just jazz, I should say. He shows lots of Brazilian stuff and um, yeah, just check him out. Um, it's really, really cool stuff. So, 10 records. Now I have, just by nature of have been, you know, I guess making videos for over 10 years now, I have shown all of these before. Um, so there'll be no surprises. And I did manage to include some records where former VC members were involved, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, so we'll start with this one. I have shown this one a few times before over the years, but I really love it. And um, yeah, I was really happy when this came out. Um, at the time, Anders was a really big VC member. He used to um, make some really, really good jazz videos back in the day. Um, I learned a, a lot from Anders. Um, he was very inspiring to me in my jazz journey. And I remember at the time, it, it was amazing to see someone that I watch and communicate with put out a record. Um, yeah, not only did he put out a record, he put out his own label um, called Signal and Sound Records. Now this is out of Sweden. Um, they haven't put anything out in a while, but there's about five or six releases now on the label. Um, I have two more. Um, but yeah, this is um, called Lines and Dots by the Anders Arlen unit. Anders plays guitar and he does some really, really nice playing, especially on side two. Um, I guess you would say this is sort of like modal with free bits going on. Um, if you like, you know, I guess Ornick Coleman is probably a very similar thing. Touches of Eric Dolphy. Um, yeah, really wonderful. This is called Lines and Dots by the Anders Arlen Unit on Signal and Sound out of Sweden. Really lovely. Um, I'm gonna play this after filming this video. Okay, so after Sweden, we will go over, sorry, I'm just having some issues with my machine here. We will go over to this album here. Michelle, Michelle, Shad, uh, Michelle Sardabi and the album is called Gale um, and what can I say about this this is uh, firstly a reissue uh, but um, Michael Sardabi is a French piano player um, this is a really beautiful record it's just kind of um, smooth and funky and groovy and there's some really really beautiful playing I am cheating a bit here because Richard Davis and um, Billy Hart, who are US musicians, uh, are on here too. Um, but this, you know, 
originally came out in France, and he is a French piano player. Um, but I think this came out in 70... Ah, oh, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, there's, there's a really nice variety of music on here. Um, some, some tracks with more of a funk feel, some with a more of a, um, I guess, Latin feel to them. Um, some are, are more straight. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some really nice moments with Fender Piano on there as well. Um, yeah, Michelle Sardabi Gale. I, I, I love this record, it's really fantastic. Um, this is a 2017 reissue that you can probably still get, um, I would assume. All right, now we are gonna jump over to Belgium. Um, this is a reissue of an amazing funky jazz record. Uh, this is Open Sky Unit. Um, yeah, killer, killer grooves, killer saxophone playing, killer flute playing. Um, yeah, really, really great. Um, as you can see here, this says legendary jazz in relation to the town of Liege in Belgium. Um, yeah, 1974. I guess you would say this is more of a close, not really jazz funk, but um, has touches of that in it. Um, you may recognize the name Jacques Pelzer and Michelle Pelzer. They had a solo record together called Song for Rene. And I'm pretty sure on that album she was very young, about 14 years old. Anyway, this is uh, really fantastic. Um, yeah, Treasured Funky Jazz LP featuring Belgian alto sax legend Jax Pelzer with his group Open Sky Unit. Um, yeah, originally issued on the small independent Duchesne label. Open Sky Unit is available, only available at the group's concerts originally. Um, yeah, but please check this out. Um, again, originals are very hard to find. This is a reissue. Love it. All right, another one that we are going over to Sweden for. This is Blameful Isles um, Pleroma. This came out in 2018. Um, now, if you were on some of the various Facebook groups and pages, and I think he made videos for a while there, you'll see um, that the, oh, this is cool, I haven't seen this inside us in ages, um, personnel. This is uh, Daniel, who used to make vinyl community videos. This is his band, Blameful Isles. I think they're up to album seven now. They're sort of, or he is sort of heading in a more sort of electronic-y drum and bass direction. But this is, I think, this is my favorite work by the Blame, Blameful Isles. Um, it sort of borders on spacey jazz and electronics in a really perfect way. Um, I really love the stunning artwork on all, all his releases. But another thing which I love about this, if you didn't know, there's a poem here written by um, Chris Cole, um, who is John Coltrane 68 on YouTube. Um, so it was felt it f it's really special to have that written in here, to have a vinyl community member and someone that I look up to and communicate with and consider a digital friend um, to have a poem that he wrote on this wonderful piece of music. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. It's sort of, yeah, I guess there's, there's spiritual jazz, there's spacey electronic parts, there's some very moody passages. This is kind of a real journey. Um, wonderful, wonderful record. Um, Blameful Eyes Pleroma. Love it. Um, all right, where else can we go here? Let's let's move over to Hungary. I show, I've shown this. Early, this is one I picked up earlier in the year, so I showed this recently. I won't go too much into it. Um, really, really uh, cinematic. I don't know, experimental jazz. Um, there's harmonicas on here. Um, Congo. Uh, bass drum yeah it's it's a very interesting record out of um hungary this is the binder quintet um this is an original and it's still pretty cheap to get hold of and really worth checking out um i guess you would say it's spiritual jazz uh, absolutely wonderful so that came out in case you're interested what have i got i wrote this down <laughs> 1983 later than i thought Still really good and really, really cheap. I highly recommend that one. Okay, we'll jump over to the UK. 
Um, I'm sure you all know this. This is absolutely essential, essential UK jazz record. Hum Dunno, Joe Harriet, Amancio de Silva Quartet. Um, you know, as you all know, this is a, a five star record, 10 out of 10, top of the pile. Wonderful, wonderful record. Um, obviously, this is a reissue. Um, done really well from a few years back. Uh, I absolutely love this piece of music. I'm not, I, I feel like I've talked about this before, so I don't need to. Um, wonderful, wonderful fusion um, of music featuring um, Norma Winston, Ian Carr, Joe Harriet, Amancio de Silva. Um, uh, yeah, a wonderful fusion of sounds. Um, very dynamic, very beautiful. Yes, smiling. Okay, now I'm gonna show another um, for me, this was a VC classic back in the day because I, I saw this um, and I was always intrigued, but I didn't know anything about it. This is the BJT, the Baroque Jazz Trio um, out of France. Um, now, how to describe, if you don't know this, I think it's been repressed a few times, but for a few years there, this the reissue was really, really hard to get hold of. Um, and it took me quite a while to track down an affordable copy. It's since been repressed a whole bunch of times, but this is, um, I don't know how to say it, it came out in 1970. I guess you would say it's Baroque, funky harpsichord with some really cool drum breaks um, and jazzy interludes. Um, it's a very unique, very interesting listen. Um, yeah, this is the Baroque Jazz Trio. Here we go. Who? Yeah, there we go. That's the gatefold on the inside. Um, I think if, if, if you kind of have been watching the VC for sort of, you know, 10 years, these are all records that have been shown by, by members throughout the years. They're kind of, for me, these are all kind of touchstones and important records for me in my discovery of jazz outside of the US. Um, there's obviously lots more to dig through, tons more, but these are kind of just highlights. Also a French record, Full Moon Ensemble. Um, this is the Superfly reissue. Um, this is kind of fiery jazz with spoken word vocals, um, political lyrics. Um, the Full Moon Ensemble played with Archie Shep quite a few times when he was over in um, Paris doing the BYG stuff. Quite a bit loneliness. This is a, a really wonderful record. Um, yeah, check it out if you do not know it. Um, it's a little bit more out there than the other things I've shown. Um, but yeah, well well worth it. Very, very rewarding. All right, we will jump over to Finland. This is something I weirdly picked up locally. This is the um, Heike Samanto New Hope Jazz Mass. Um, now, this was featured on one of the spiritual jazz compilations put out by whoever it is, Jazz Man. I always get confused. Um, but this is amazing, powerful gospel and choral music mixed with deep spiritual jazz. Um, very Coltrane influenced. Um, there's some some killer tracks and some okay tracks. Um, but overall, I think this is super interesting and super worth listening to if you don't know it already. Heike Samanto, New Hope Jazz Mass on the Finlandia Records label. Um, yeah, some really wonderful photos of them here. Look at that. What a haircut. Gosh. Yeah, um, again, locally to find this in New Zealand, I was very, very surprised that that existed. It's a, a nice one. Okay, I feel like maybe that's more than 10. Did I pull out a bonus one? I may have. Okay, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll show them anyway. Um, this is my last one from France that I think if you don't know it, it's worth listening to. This is a very interesting jazz record. Um, definitely one more for the head, I guess. Um, Jean-Charles Capon, I probably butchered that. Um, Universe Solitude, so the, the I mean, he is a, a French cello player or cellist. Um, this album came in 1972. Um, it's basically just percussion and cello um, with some really nice, almost Afro-Cuban 
rhythms. It's very, very interesting, very unique. Um, if you're looking for something a bit different, I think this is definitely worth um, checking out. This is the Souffle Continue reissue. Sorry about the glare on the label there. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of a, a interesting. It's it, it's it sounds. I don't know how improvised it is, but it sounds very improvised. But it definitely kind of takes you on a journey. Um, it's very intimate. Um, yeah, it, it's a very unique uh, jazz record. Um, yeah, please check that out. And the last one is back to Sweden, and it wouldn't be fair to mention uh, European jazz without talking about the Caprice label. Um, sorry, on the side here. If you don't know that label, it's generally a mark of very interesting stuff um, or high, you know, high quality. I haven't heard everything, obviously, but the bits that I've picked up on the label out of interest have always been worth a listen. Um, now, this is where I break the rules because there is three players on here that is, I play on ECM records. We've got Bent Berger, amazing, Pali Danielson, and Bobo Stenson. Um, but this is Rena Rama. This is one that I learned about many years ago. Um, it's it's a guess it's a spiritual jazz record. Um, yeah, I haven't heard this in years to be honest. And I hadn't didn't play it before making this video. Um, but yeah, I need to give this a a revisit. Um, look at that for a wonderful cover. Um, I bought this off Discogs back in the day for about twelve twelve dollars. You know, so that's probably like five bucks US. Um, so this won the Jazz in Sweden Award for 1973. Yeah, super great. Um, I don't know what to say about this because I can't remember it. Um, it is really great though. <laughs> and that's all. So I kind of wasn't as diverse as I thought I was gonna be. Um, but yeah, there we go, European Jazz. Um, some interesting stuff. I do gravitate towards the French stuff a lot more. I think France, as a you know, across multiple genres, has some really amazing, interesting stuff. If I if I broke down, oh, that's not really true. I was gonna say if I broke down my collection by country or my favorite records, I think a lot of them would be out of France, definitely. And you know, that's probably mainly due to just having someone like Fred Big Star One Thousand um, as a friend and influence in terms of. Um, pointing out lots of interesting French jazz records um, and labels like Souffle continue doing all that sort of stuff. Um, I mean, like when you think about all the amazing uh, seven layers electronic stuff coming out of France, all the Zool prog stuff, um, you know, all your Serge Gainsbourg, um, Bridget Fontaine records, um, you know, I don't know. There's, so, there's lots of singer songwriter stuff I don't know anything about. Um, I just think there's an amazing history of French music. Um, a lot of uh, really cool French folk stuff. Um, Catherine Ribeiro is a favorite. You know, I could go, I could go on forever. But um, yeah, I again, thank you. Thank you for making the video in the first place. It was very inspiring to watch. Um, and yeah, that was my response. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you next time.